this song by Gunna Friday, I'm feeling better, guys. I'm feeling better. Like, you unforgettable. Like, all y'all are learning to still have, like, your inner child. It's enjoying the small things in life, okay? You're enjoying the small things in life. Like, you disconnected from the people in your past. You're surrounded by support and achieving goals, laying down the roots, you know? You have a good foundation, you feel me? Even the ones that don't give you support and it's like family or friends, like you pay them no mind. You feel me? You're not focused on superficial things. You actually close the door on anybody who keep like bringing up shit that's not true. And it's like people who, the people who keep doing that, they know that you're a nice person. They just want to talk down on you. Some of y'all realize as you're climbing the ladder to the top, there could be people that are crab in the bucket. Like, they just want to hope to have something bad to talk about you and make you seem like you're this bad person that you don't care. But if you see someone that don't care about their mental health and you gave them money, you gave them food, you gave them a place to stay, you helped them the best way you can, it's almost like Joyce Meyer said, and she's a Pisces, uh, uh, I said Pisces, y'all could be dealing with someone that's a Pisces, uh, a pastor, where she's like, you know, don't enable the enablers. Because if you do, they're never going to learn. Climbing your way to the top, willingness to grow spiritually. A lot of y'all could get copper. I had got this on a TikTok shop. I was trying to make a video showing and like tagging it. I'm going to learn. Like usually when I can't figure something out, I just go to TikTok shop, search how to tag your products with the video. And um, yeah, like you're driven by success with the Knight of Swords. You feel me? What's the um success? Like, I feel like you're not working yourself hard, but you're doing just enough content and you're happy. I feel like something was testing your face. The Nine of Wands, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, somebody came from your past. Try to test it, like, see if you would, like, come back to them or, you know, would you like to do it or try to tempt you to take you to a nice hotel or a candlelight dinner. And it's like, nah. Because it's like secret and deception. You know this person's fraud and you're healing your heart. And it's like all that healing will go to waste if you just go back to someone. And that's why you ain't seeing that person from the past because they can't face you. You feel me? With the Ace of Pentacles, someone knows you're being gifted with money. And that's why a lot of people try to keep you in this stagnant energy. And you're going to walk away. The divine is helping you. You've been seeing you halls. You're going to be able to move. You're going to be able to be fine. You feel me? Some of y'all are even getting to do divination where you're doing a money spell to make sure you're good financially. The two of wands surrounded by people that support you. It can even be supported people. Like, yeah, you may have helped people and they, they got their de demonic ways where they don't want nobody to win. They want to be a crab in a bucket, but you let them and show them that they you want them to win. You're going to keep people away. Because you're not working for peanuts. You're not somebody, and you know, someone could have called you the Molly the May, could have tried to talk to you very poorly, like take you for granted, keep you as a Cinderella mentality, like you cook, you clean, you're the oldest brother, you're the oldest sister, you're responsible for everybody, your needs come last, like no. Like I said, unforgettable, you would never be forgotten, like you put a special heart on people, but they can't come with you. It's like, I'm seeing that door close, it's locked. Like, you're on this new journey. People are going to be just, it's just your imagination running away with you. Temptation. I like old music. <laughs> Very old music. It was just your imagination. And even if this person come again and try to bring out the big guns, like you like flowers, you like food, it's this person knows that they try to buy their way in. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Because you know this person needs inner child healing. The sun in reverse is somebody who needs to focus on their inner self. Like, you might even get depressed. You might not even be happy with this person. You're just going to be happy. This person going to be happy because you're doing what they say. And you're learning that I'm not married with this person. I don't have a kid. Even if I have a kid with this person, um, I don't have to be with you. This person really thought you was going to be with them always through the bullshit. And you mad as hell. And they all they have is nothing. You see how empty this wall? They all they have is love and sex. That's what it says. Love and sex. They feel like nah. 
don't miss the opportunity being so isolated make sure you um getting a lot of rest too because you're gonna need your energy i feel like you gotta stay away from people that lost their way they very distorted the hermit in reverse is someone who knows they're supposed to be going to college know they're supposed to be and it's like you can't talk to them they get mad they don't want to be they don't want to elevate like you can't tell people how to heal if they don't ask like I'm, i learned that the hard way like if someone don't ask for your help don't try to heal somebody that don't want help you know my mom will say that a lot let people be their own downfall so when shit happens and people are older and they they looking for someone to blame or someone don't want to be around them it's like they're the reason that they lack support community home conflict it's like the problem accent if they're the problem. You're getting injustice. Whoever is not a wants to scatter anger. Like, you know, people are very angry and very stressed. During this recession, I, I feel like a lot of people have been seeing how ugly people are without money. Literally. Going against the grain of their own religion. Judging people if they are spiritual or to do magic. But then they're these, these the same people that, you know, if my kids got to eat, I got to do what I got to do. And, like, it's almost like that movie Purple where I think, oh, was it, like, um, Raising Canyon where the dad was dealing with that, you know, that prostitute. And she, he would leave the money on a nightstand. Like, someone feel like that's but they're judging you because... It's almost like how people realize that, you know, religion um, really did, uh, took a hold on people and, like, kept people in a mindset of control. And I saw this black man speaking on it where, you know, during slavery, they would try to keep us in control. But then the people who was telling us the word, they wasn't even, they was harming us. They was taking advantage of people. They was sa people. They was doing all of the above. And they talking about they living for the, the Lord. But the Lord would have all his people going through that. You feel me? It's like just evil. And you're getting justice. It's just justice. That's why my auntie is like... She's like, like it's like almost every person. There's good people and there's bad people. There's good Christian and there's bad Christian. There's people who... You know, even this nice Haitian lady, she said, there's some good Haitians and there's some bad people. Like, she's seen people that do things, you know, not even wearing clothes. She'll get so mad. Like, you just came out the house in your booty shorts. Like, it's, they just don't care. They have this mindset of not caring. And this is why the Wheel of Fortune, even during the ups and downs, you learn to appreciate the little things. Like, you got to buy yourself lunch. You have good health. You have good news. You have positive energy around you of people wanting you to strive. It can even be your friends. Um... Getting a second job, being able to fix your car, you know. Like my friend said, being able to breed. You feel me? Because you caught people who didn't want you to exceed. But then if you don't succeed, then, you know, how who's going to take care of the family? Who's going to do it? It's not the parent because the parent don't even want to take care of the kids. The parents, you know, they got to 18, they, they did a shitty job. And they like, nah, you can figure it out on your own as, as you go. I saw something where it was on TikTok where this girl was saying, like, her parents just matured before having her so she wouldn't have to raise herself. But that's the thing. There is so many parents that don't even look, they don't even take accountability of their bad action. They're just going and going and going and going and going. It's like they got entities on them. Like, you're getting that ten of pinnacles. If you wanted a millionaire or a six-figure person or someone who has a successful business like you, even if you don't, like, somebody's going to come and give you the world because the love that you give and the way that you persevere and you see how you give everybody options and wishful thinking and helping them do opportunities to get to opportunities to get to a job, doing a financial aid or helping them get into school or guiding them through that. Someone's going to guide you. The love that you put out for everybody else, even for your own kids, someone's going to give that to you. Yeah, it's the end to a cycle. Yeah, you're getting an emperor, a king of swords, so it's going to take action on you. That's going to help you improve your circumstances. That's going to have you live this soft life where you can rest. It's the end to, like, toxic um, cycles. A Scorpio is like a rebirth. Like, you know, things are changing. Clarify the death card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's an end to people that's being dusty, emotionally manipulating, never taking their the truth of their bad. Like, they just, like, the 
King of Cups in reverse is someone who's a cheater who cheat in a marriage. Like it's an end to people who are alive.